I'm Double T. Special guest joining me, the mayor of Rockford, Tom McNamara. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, Double T. Thanks so much for having me on. So uh, we last spoke at the end of 2019. We were talking about what a good year Rockford had, improving, moving in the right direction, looking forward to 2020. W- what happened? Oh, so just uh, just got hit with uh, the corona uh, COVID-19 virus. And uh, just to illustrate what a good year and good trajectory we were on, Double T, February, we literally had the lowest unemployment uh, numbers that we've had since 1997. Then in March, we literally doubled the number of unemployment claims that we had uh, during the month of March uh, of 08 during the Great Recession. So we went from one extreme to the absolute other. Uh, But the key things are that we stick together as a community. We live out our values and we continue to practice that social distancing and only going out when it's absolutely necessary so we can get uh, to the other side of the COVID-19 virus pandemic and start getting back to what many would say is normal, which I don't know if we'll ever go back to normal after something like this. I'm talking to Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara. When you look at the improvements that the Mm -hmm. Rockford community has made, and and it can never be prepared for something like this, but do you think we're in a better spot than we would have been a few years ago with the way the community had come together and improved? I think so. I I really do. I think, you know, you look at our economy, it's certainly diversified uh, from not just manufacturing, but now it's manufacturing, healthcare, logistics. We have really strong downtown now. We have a lot of local shops. Uh, which my uh, I'm very concerned about them, obviously. Uh, but uh, seeing some of the aid that's coming in from the federal and state and even us at the city level creating a, a more than $2 million relief fund for these small businesses, I think we're in good shape. And as a city, uh, we haven't talked about it much, but we are going to be uh, pretty devastated with the economic impacts from a city organization standpoint. Uh, when you think about people's incomes going away, you're thinking about people not buying as much uh, and sales. So there's less sales tax, there's less income tax. So that has a direct impact on us as a city government. And we have a decent fund balance and reserve for situations like this. Uh, So, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult, but we are going to get through this. I'm talking to Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara. When you're you're talking about these businesses and how they're going to struggle and there's aid out there, if you're a local business owner, what's the best route to take to find some of this aid and get some of this help? So the city of Rockford has a, uh, a an entire site on our website uh, dedicated to uh, COVID-19 response. And I would say if you're a citizen, if you're a business owner, where, whatever you may be, uh, come and take a look at our website. We have information there for you. If you're a business owner, we have set up uh, an email address uh, to specifically help you and help you navigate through the local, state, and federal resources. And that email address is businessfirst at rockfordil.gov. Businessfirst at rockfordil.gov. And we want to help you navigate through uh, all of these different programs because, uh, you know, Three and a half weeks ago, there wasn't any programs out there. Now, all of a sudden, there's a, you know the local, state, and federal programs. It's really difficult for some of these small businesses to navigate which one's best for them. And besides the businesses, obviously, there's going to be individuals out there needing help. Can they get information there, too? Or is there somewhere else they should go? They can get information there. I would certainly say make sure that they're filing for unemployment. Uh, There was tremendous uh, bills passed recently uh, to help with unemployment, adding an additional $600 per unemployment claim filed, uh, which is a huge increase, probably the largest increase we've seen ever uh, when it comes to unemployment benefits. And that is going to uh, last, I believe, through September. Don't hold me to that, but I believe that's to, through September. So there, are, there is assistance out there for you, uh, and we at the city would love to help you navigate through that, uh, those needs and those opportunities. I'm talking to Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, and we, we want to help these, these businesses, these local businesses, the best we can. But where where is the line of doing what we're supposed to do and at the same time supporting these local businesses? 
So I'll just speak uh, from um, a very personal level. So me and my wife, uh, if we are going to be buying something, we need to purchase something. No matter what that purchase may be, we're first seeing, uh, is there a local business that has it? Do they have a website set up that we can purchase it uh, so that you don't have to go in? Uh, so we're trying to buy as many of the items that we need as a household here locally. Uh, second is we are dedicating, uh, well, depending on how tough the week is, one, two, three days a week to eating out where we call in the order and uh, pick it up curbside. So we're trying to help the local restaurants and help the local businesses. But outside of basic necessities that we need and outside of uh, going, uh, getting food to go, we're really at home just spending that time with family. And so it is a delicate balance. Uh, but if you are going to have to buy something, look to see if you can buy a local. Even if it's a dollar more, 30 cents more, whatever it may be, uh, it goes a lot further when you buy things locally. I'm talking to Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara. You talk about spending time with family, and I think this is a mm-hmm. – if you have to take a positive, people are spending time with their families where otherwise they may be too busy. What are the, some of the things that you and your family have been doing to keep yourselves entertained that maybe some of the citizens of Rockford could do? So uh, I would just say the word tricycle. Uh, <laughs> my daughter is four years old, and it, she wakes up in the morning – and the first thing she says, Daddy, can I ride my bike? Uh, when she goes to bed, the last thing she's talking to you about is where she wants to ride her bike. So we, uh, we, and, you know, she's four years old, so we can go up and down the block, and that's usually a pretty long bike ride for her. Um, so uh, we are absolutely spending every second that we can outside in our backyard or going on a walk uh, together. So uh, that's been great. My wife is an artist, so she has them doing a ton of arts and crafts. And I would say uh, when when you need a minute and parents know when they need a minute, Disney Plus is a beautiful thing. <laughs> and, I, you know, I know you're a busy guy, you're, you're mayor and spending time with your family, but have you had a chance to, to watch The Tiger King yet? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I have uh, I have seen uh, a couple of uh, hours of it, I will say that, <laughs> uh, late at night. And it is uh, pretty funny. I really think uh, during the next city council meeting, since we're doing them via Zoom, I should put the Tiger King as my background. <laughs> I think I would get a lot of fans. That would be great. I'm talking to Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara. Now, you know, a lot of people in town are doing what they're supposed to do. They're staying yep. at home. But obviously there are people that are breaking the rules. If you witness somebody doing something, getting together in big groups, having parties or places that shouldn't be open are open, what should someone do? So there's a couple of things. One, uh, one they can always call the non-emergency number, and I'll make sure that you have that double T C you can post it out there. Uh, the other big one that we've been hearing is you, you work for a business that isn't taking this seriously, that isn't practicing social distancing, and you know that they can, or you wonder why a business uh, is open when you know that they shouldn't be open. There, there is an email address that we have set up specifically to address questions like that, and that email address is COVID19 at WCHD.org. COVID19 at WCHD.org. Uh, and you can send an email, you'll get an immediate response, and then that item will be investigated. And uh, we're looking at all of them. The last thing we want to do is, you know, penalize someone with fines or fees. Uh, but I, I will tell you, uh, we are in too critical of a juncture uh, with this virus uh, to not take it seriously. I mean, as of yesterday, we have 76 cases. We now have three deaths, uh, tragic deaths. And just as of yesterday, uh, two of these, uh, well, we have at least two uh, what they call congregate settings. Uh, and the congregate settings we're talking about are long-term care uh, facilities that have cases. This is serious. This is, uh, uh, I just can't reiterate, this is a new virus. We don't have a vaccine. Uh, there is no specific cure out there. The best things that we can do as a community is to make sure that you're washing your hands frequently, you're covering your mouth with either a homemade mask or one that you purchase, uh, and social distancing, and just staying home. Uh, and the last thing I'll say is, you know, I think of my father. He 
you know, was sent off to Vietnam. Well, we're not being sent off to Vietnam. What we're being sent to do is to go home, be with your family, and catch up on Netflix. It's not that hard. Um, and we really need folks to uh, buy into this and help out because it, you really have a unique opportunity as an individual to help the broader community by just simply staying home. So I, I just plead with people to do that. I appreciate what you've been doing uh, on the local level. I think our governor's been been very supportive in, in the state, too. And you guys do press conferences a few times a week. If people want to catch those, they're on Facebook Live. But if you don't see them live, you can also see the video is still there. Where can people see that stuff? Uh, they can see it on the City of Rockford's Facebook page. Uh, I would also say uh, we have one uh, always. We have one on Mondays and Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. And then uh, there will usually be an additional one when we have uh, more urgent news to get out. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, thank you so much for taking the time. Before I let you go, could you give the, the people of Rockford some words of occur- some words of encouragement? Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot to be hopeful for. Uh, We were on a tremendous trajectory before we uh, stepped into this uh, crisis. We as a community have come together in ways that we've never seen before over the last three, three years, and more specifically, just over the last three weeks. If we stay together uh, while we're staying apart from one another, uh, I know we're going to get through this, and we're going to come out of this a lot stronger. We're going to be setting up teams here locally using public and private resources to help us tackle a number of challenges that uh, we'll be facing. So when we do see the other side of this virus, and we will, uh, we'll come out a lot stronger. So, Rockford, stay hopeful uh, and stay uh, supportive of one another. And one last thing. You uh, brought a message out that they put up on the marquee at the Coronado. Can you repeat what that was again? Yeah, so the message on the Coronado marquee, and I appreciate you uh, seeing that. Uh, We're so fortunate to have the theater. And the message says, be well, be safe, be hopeful. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, thank you so much for everything you're doing for the community right now, and thanks for taking a couple of minutes to talk to me today. Hey, thanks so much for all you do. Take care.